Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, the episode of Bullet Points this morning, we are going to focus on the media coming out against constitutional carry. Now, in the light of Alabama becoming law last night, it was kind of expected that this is what they'd come out with, and they have not disappointed. You know you're going to take some fire when you are over the target, and brothers and sisters, we are over the target. This ABC article is coming out. It's got Moms Demand Action, Shannon Watts. It's got rebranding of constitutional carry. It's got sounding the alarm bills and applying pressure to existing governors on sitting bills. This has everything, and it's because you have them scared. Make no mistake, this is because you guys are unifying and standing up for your rights, and you're making an impact. So they've got to mobilize the troops. That's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to do a quick read from USCCA to make sure that you guys know this video is brought to you by them, and then we're going to hit it and hit it hard on the other side. The USCCA is about something bigger than the right to bear arms. It's a resource to help you be ready for the before, during, and after a self-defense incident. If you're not one of the 500,000 responsibly armed Americans who are proud USCCA members, then now is the time to explore USCCA membership. Click the link in the description below to learn more about life-saving education and industry-leading training. And like I said, there's a link in the description box. Just so you know everything, it's right down there for your availability. But thank you so much to USCCA to making these videos possible. Now, let's hit it and hit it hard. Check this out because right on cue, ABC News. Permitless gun carry law draws opposition from law enforcement. Alabama became the latest state to drop a permit for concealed carry. Okay, this came out this morning. So here's what I'm going to say right off the bat. This is incredibly important the way that they are rebranding constitutional carry. Because if you say constitutional carry, that's a positive connotation because that's a right. But if you say permitless, const permitless carry, that means you can do these things without a permit. To put this into perspective, when you talk to other people, imagine if you said to somebody, um, you have the right to your permitless uh, speech. Imagine, like you would see the brains come out of their eyes. Okay, because it's free speech. It's one of our rights. Well, the Second Amendment is also a right that is enumerated in the Bill of Rights. So, okay, let's continue. Alabama became the latest state to remove permit requirements to carry a concealed gun in public, as multiple states debate similar measures this session. So there, here comes the alarm bells, right? They've been sleeping on this because they've been kind of distracted, but now they're realizing what's happening. Known as permitless carry or constitutional carry legislation, Look, real quick aside, interesting they didn't put constitutional carry in the title, but it, they put permitless. Just saying. The bills have been roundly criticized by police and gun control advocates, well, duh, who argue that removing permits pose a safety risk to citizens and officers. Proponents, meanwhile, claim the permitting process is too onerous and the laws ensure Second Amendment rights. Well, actually, what we're doing is saying, like, you don't need permission to carry a gun if you've already passed the background checks, which are already questionable. Let's just not even get into that chestnut. But that's the whole point. It's constitutionally sound, not permitlessly sound. And so here comes Shannon Watts. You got to get Shannon Watts in here. If there is somebody to call, call up Shannon Watts. By the way, we did a video on her yesterday morning about how she was against police two years ago. And now all of a sudden she's for police because they're against constitutional carry. Check that one out. I'll, I'll link it. Police weighing in against permitless carry matters. Shannon Watts, founder of Everytown, subsidiary Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense, told ABC News. Quote, but I guess the question is, at the end of the day, those Republicans who are worried about being primaried, are they going to put public safety over their hopes for the primary election? It's not about primary election. That might be a motivating factor. It's not about public safety. It's about the fact that this is a constitutional right. Just saying. Anyway, let's keep going, because I don't want to talk about Shannon anymore. Last year, six states, Arkansas, Iowa, Montana, Tennessee, Texas, and Utah, enacted permitless carry measures. There it is again. Um according to the Pew Research Center. And this is where they start sounding the alarm about what's happening now. They're trying to rally the troops. Check this out. Two other states, Indiana and Ohio, have recently passed similar bills, which await their respective governor's signature or veto, while at least four others, Georgia, Nebraska, South Carolina, and Wisconsin, are considering it. That's right, they are. We've been talking about it for months, and y'all been sleeping because freedom is ringing on this doorstep. Anyway, let's keep going. Republican Ohio Governor Mike DeWine has until March 15th to sign or veto SB 215 before it comes law. He has not publicly indicated what he plans to do, though in a statement to Columbus, Ohio, his spokesperson said the governor, quote, has long supported the Second Amendment rights of law-abiding citizens to keep and bear arms. Well, if you truly believe that, 
I look forward to your signature you have until Tuesday, which is the 15th, which ironically is the Ides of March. Anyway, whatever, little history joke. Last thing I'm gonna show you here. In Indiana, a constitutional carry bill is before Republican Governor Eric Holcomb's desk after passing the state legis legislature Tuesday. Under HB 1296, anyone at least 18 years old who can legally carry a handgun would no longer need a permit to do so in the state. And the reason that I'm bringing this to you, they're listing out every single state because they're worried and they need action. They need attention drawn to it. They're sounding the alarm bells because they got stuffed this legislative session because back in 2020, the Republicans took most of the houses across the United States. This is why the fight matters. Every single day we are fighting here and I cannot wait to show you what we have tonight in the 9 p.m. segment where hopefully we have some good news out of Nebraska or Georgia. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you then tonight at 9.